In the ever-expanding world of Microsoft 365, setting up an approval workflow for a document in a SharePoint library has become a complex task. Best practices says fire up Power Automate and create a labyrinth of conditional rules, triggers, and actions hoping to cover all of the possible contingencies. What if someone is on vacation? What if a certain document type requires different approvers or more approvers? What to do when it stalls? As the scenarios pile up, so does the complexity. Well, you can set aside Power Automate and the requirement to map out all the logic. There's a much simpler way, so simple it will bring a tear to your eye and make you want to subscribe and recommend this video to everyone you know. To understand this approach, we need to remember how simple the process of getting a document approved was before we had all of this time-saving technology. Before intranets, when someone needed to get a document approved, they would put a yellow sticky on it, asking for it to be approved, slide it into an inner office mail envelope, put the approver's name on the envelope, and put it in their out basket. The envelope would be picked up and delivered to the in basket of the name on the envelope. You can probably guess what would happen next. The approver opens the envelope, reads the document, writes their own yellow sticky indicating approval or requested modifications, and sends it back or forward to whoever needed to get it next. This system was so flexible, it could handle virtually any contingency, and so simple, even executives liked using it. The key to its simplicity was that the participants provided all of the branching logic, and the yellow stickies carried the instructions. We can recreate this approach in a SharePoint library in less than 10 minutes by simply adding three metadata fields, a rule, and a list view. The metadata fields are in basket, a people field where the user places the name of the next participant, a text field called requested action to take the place of the yellow sticky, and a choice field called status so that the participants can indicate whether the document is a draft or if it's been approved. In order to notify people whose names are placed in the in basket field, we simply create what's called a SharePoint automate rule. These are simple, user-friendly automations created directly within a SharePoint library. Created with just a few clicks, these automations avoid the complexity of the Power Platform altogether. To create ours, we just go to the ribbon, click on Automate, Rules, and Create a Rule. Then we select Notify Someone when data in a column changes, and we choose the In Basket column. For the condition, we choose Change to Anything, and for the send email to, we select the in basket field. Bingo! People whose names are placed in the in basket field now get an automatically generated email that alerts them and provides a link back to the document properties and the library where they can read the requested task and review the document. When they're ready, they update the task, put an appropriate name in the in basket field, update the status, and save it. Within a minute or two, the next recipient is notified and the activity continues. A simple way to implement administrative oversight of the process would be to simply create a list view of stalled items. This view would filter for pending items that haven't been modified in the last five days. The library owner could use this view to periodically redirect stalled items back to the last person to modify the document. The redirection of stalled items could also be automated but some amount of human oversight is probably desirable. And now we have our new system. When someone creates a new document, they upload it to the library, set the status to pending, put a name in the in basket field, enter a requested action, and save the file. That's it. The system is self-managing and simple to monitor. How do you stop it? Set the status to approved and remove any name from the in basket field. In just a few minutes, we have faithfully recreated the simpler, far more versatile in-basket process of the past. If the simplicity of this approach did bring a tear to your eye, please subscribe and forward the link to others who might benefit. If you'd like to see a follow-up video where we transform this solution into a comprehensive case management system in less than 10 minutes by adding two more list views and a document set, please let us know in the comments. And thanks for watching.